uh, effort and attitude have been really good. And that's, uh, that's been the best part. It's fun coaching this team right now. Um, I don't know if there's been a surprise defensively. Um, just been really happy with their level of communication, the way they're playing together, and their effort. Is your, uh, your young two quarterbacks on scholarships they pick up sort of where they left off at the end of the spring? Where does the season look at? Yeah, uh, we're, we're kind of approaching fall camp this year. We always do, but a little different is, is we want to throw everything at them quick. I want to get that, that first unit available to run anything that we need to run this year early on. And then we'll start scaling it back and dialing it a little more. So we're throwing a lot at those guys, particularly Harburg. Um, but yeah, they picked up right where they left off in spring. Both of them are doing really good things. Is that a situation where one of them will go into the fall sort of like squarely ahead of the other? Or could it be a total number two? How do you do it? Yeah, I, I have no idea how it'll shake out right now. Both of them are doing good things. Um, whatever decision we make for game one might not be the decision for game two. So we're going to keep bringing them both along. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been pleasantly surprised. Yeah, about, asked about surprises, surprises with his uh, Marquis Steps project progress. Um, weren't sure he was going to be a hundred percent coming into camp. I know I still don't think he's quite hundred percent, but he's uh, stacked some pretty good practices together. Um, is farther along with knowing the scheme and everything that I expected him to be. I've, I've been really uh, happy with his performance in the first few practices. Now, it always helps to be older and be more experienced. Scott, you mentioned uh, in your opening press conference sort of getting guys set where they are depth chart wise, like I think you're talking about. Do you have like a timetable on kind of wanting that, you know, before you go into your own way prep? Yeah, we're, we're already kind of there, to be honest with you. Um, we're splitting up um, groups a lot more, getting young guys a lot more reps. Um, that's the way it's operated in Nebraska for a long time. I want a lot of reps to go around. Repetition matters. Repetition matters. Um, so when, when we split up, the, the top guys are going together almost all the time. Um, most positions, I think, are pretty solidified with who we think it's going to be. There's some others that are up for grabs, and we'll keep giving guys chances. When will you guys um, kind of have a major scrimmage where you roll it out? Uh, we're going to have one scrimmage uh, in two days from now. Um, I don't think that'll be our major scrimmage of the fall. We'll probably have that one be a little shorter, have one probably the next week that's a little longer, and then turn our attention to first game. Sort of a general question, but as a play caller, when do you really know in the punt game that you're starting to, to lean on somebody? And, and last year, were there times where you felt like you were getting pretty close to being able to do that consistently? Yeah, I mean, we did a lot of statistical analysis in the offseason, and um, I think we were second in the league in rushing. Um, second in the league in efficiency per play and near the bottom of the league in points per drive. I think some of that was the, the defenses we played were really good, and I give them a, a ton of credit. This is a good league with a lot of good coaches. Uh, but I think that discrepancy largely is just mistakes that we made ourselves, negative plays, turnovers, bad snaps, penalties. Um, that's where our focus is entirely as, a, as an organization, as a team. Um, I want a team that never beats itself and plays tough. Now, if he said that, I think he was being humble. Um, he, he had a great spring. Uh, he's having a, re a really good fall playing at the highest level I've seen him play at uh, since I've been coaching him. Um, being quarterback in Nebraska is tough. Um, there's a lot of criticism and praise and everything that goes along with it, and I've said this a bunch, but he's in a really good spot. Um, going out there and working hard every day and getting better every day. You have eight or nine receivers, it looks like. What will the challenges be to kind of size that down to figure out how you play the guys in the right situations and spots? Yeah, um, I feel good about the receiver group. There's a lot of competition there to get in You know, the top six. I imagine six are going to play for the most part. Um, a couple other guys might sprinkle in, but it's going to be six. And we're still trying to figure out who those guys are exactly. But there's a lot of guys that I think we can rely on to go in the game right now and make plays. Out, out of it in a weekend? 
Yeah, uh, just two days ago, uh, we were doing individual drills on special teams, and I think Coach Dawson, who's been doing an unbelievable job with that, um, said we got 138 reps of individual technique in a 10-minute period on special teams. And the guys have bought into it. Man, they're working hard in those drills. We can't find any loafs at all, people taking a playoff on those drills. The, the guys know how important that is, and that could be a little difference for us in several games. Uh, so I see uh, great leadership by Coach Dawson right now uh, and great effort and uh, attention to detail by our team. Is punter and uh, kickoff specialist still up for grabs? Uh, yeah, um, I would say punter's up for grabs and kickoff specialist up for grabs. You know, feel really good about Connor with one more year as our field goal kicker. Um, but one, who's going to kick off, I'm not sure yet. And it, it could be one of three guys. Yeah, Jared uh, is going to move on. Um, Jared and I have been friends since 1989, so we figured it was 32 years. Um, he's responsible for a lot of the progress that we've made around here, getting things done. Um, one of my best friends in the world and, and was infinitely valuable to us around here. Uh, I'm going to miss him, uh, but he had a another business opportunity uh, that he wanted to, to go try. Um, he, he loves these players dearly, too, and, and the guys know that. Um, and I think part of the reason he's leaving is looking for opportunity to be able to help them in a different way. So we'll miss Jared. Um, those are some big shoes, shoes to fill, but feel good about the guys we have doing it. Hey, Coach, we saw Coach Osborne out there the other day. How nice was it to see him out there and his advice ever offered or asked for when he's out there? Coach Osborne's around a lot, and I, I want him around as much as he, he wants to be around. Uh, Coach Darlington's been out there. I saw Tony Samuel already uh, this fall. Uh, we're a Husker family, and uh, certainly Coach Osborne has been the leader of that for a long time, and we love it every time he's out there. But it's also good to see all the other guys. Adam True is at practice today. Um, it's great to see a lot of guys that coached and, and wore uh, Nebraska uniforms uh, back at practice being around our guys. Yeah, um, Andrew Sims has been Jared's assistant for a long time. We almost lost him to another school to go be the full-time DFO, so he's going to step into that role, and uh, we'll get him some help as well. You mentioned knowing a lot of the guys early in camp. Are you starting to see a separation in the guys who can process that information a little quicker? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we're, we're pushing the young guys pretty hard, and we're, we're pretty tough on them. Um, that, that's demanding to know everything that they need to know as fast as we're trying to get them to know it. So there's a little bit of separation between the guys that have been there, done that, and the guys that are learning it for the first time. Uh, but we're going to keep wrapping them. Uh, the more reps those guys get, the faster they'll be able to catch up. Are there any of those young guys that are really kind of standing out in the way they're handling some of these things you're throwing at them? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Um, obviously, it helped for the guys that were here for spring ball and, and early enrolled. Uh, Guys like Marquise, guys like Gabe, um, th those guys and, and others, those guys have had a lot of reps already and are a little bit ahead. Uh, but some of the guys that came in uh, this summer are doing a really good job. So we're throwing them in the deep end, and we need to know really fast which ones are going to sink and which ones are going to swim. Coach Randolph Kapai, um, is he out for an extended period? It looked like when we were in there, he had the sling on. Yeah, we've had a few nicks and bruises here and there, and guys that will be out for a few days. Uh, Randy's is going to be a little longer. Um, well, he was doing some really good things in camp, too, so really excited about his future and I uh, hate when those things happen, uh, but we'll be without him for a little bit. You mentioned Gabe Urban. How good do you feel about where he's at about being a guy who can maybe contribute three weeks from now? Yeah, I think, I think Gabe's ready. And one thing I'll say about him is he came in as an adult. He was very mature in his approach to everything when he came in. Um, that's usually the telltale mark if they're going to be ready to play early on. Uh, he's done a good job learning it. Uh, he competes, and uh, he'll definitely be in the mix at that spot. Coach Hildick was complimenting his pass protection. I mean, how impressive is that for a true freshman to come with that such a physical you know, specimen pass block that well? Gabe? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think the running backs in general have been doing a good job in pass pro, and, and that's tough assignment. First thing is knowing who your guys are, uh, making sure you're disciplined with your eyes. Um, but part of it, too, is just being willing to stick your nose in and get the job done. Um, we got some bigger backs now that are more capable of that, and I've been pleased with all their jobs with uh, pass protection. Thank you, Phil. Thank you.